So exon skipping is an approach that's now reached clinical trials. Uh, several different companies have uh, compounds in development that have the potential to, to make use of this, this route of therapy. The idea with exon skipping is relied on actually the difference between what defines most cases of the more severe Duchenne dystrophy versus the milder Becker muscular dystrophy. It's based on understanding a little bit the structure of the dystrophin protein. Dystrophin is a, a huge gene with 79 pieces, sort of like beads on a string that get strung together in the end, and pushed together to make one uh, final blueprint of the protein. These are called exons, and when these exons get all spliced together with the intervening string taken out, if you will, that forms the final blueprint. In most cases of Duchenne dystrophy, uh, the way they're spliced together uh, leaves the blueprint unreadable. You cannot read it from start to finish, so you make no protein whatsoever. And in most cases of Becker muscular dystrophy, the mutation has, uh, it can be a bigger mutation in size, but it leaves a blueprint that is still readable. It has a front end and a back end to the protein that results. So the protein can localize properly, doesn't function with 100% function, but it's there and serves some of its shock absorber role. So the idea with exon skipping was to take a Duchenne mutation and alter the splicing pattern. Splice out one additional exon, make it one exon bigger, and even though you're bigger, you're still, what you're doing is restoring the reading frame, it's called. You're restoring the readability of that blueprint for the gene. So you take a boy with Duchenne muscular dystrophy and give him a Becker muscular dystrophy-like gene. That's the prospect for it, and, pre and clinical trials show that this has a great deal of promise. 